I don't normally do rants, but with lockdown going on, I've got nothing else to do, so... I've got nothing against Behringer. I'm using one of their microphones now. I've got their TD3, I had their 808 clone, and a bunch of their TC electronic guitar pedals. And they've all sounded great. But the Behringer Swing is just a shameless clone of the Arturia Keystep, which is a current piece of gear which you can go and buy online from pretty much any music shop for around £99. Behringer have just copied this and releasing it for £10 less. This is where I see a problem, being that if they're allowed to get away with just releasing a shameless clone of modern equipment, what's to stop them continuing to do this? For example, if they were to release a clone of the Arturia Micro Freak, which was an innovative synthesizer, Arturia would have invested the time and money researching, developing, marketing a synthesizer which may not have taken off. What's to stop Behringer now coming in and re releasing a clone of it for £50 less? I'm all for people having choice and I think with some of Behringer's products it's great that they offer people the chance to get into music and get sounds and gear for a lower price point but this just it seems cheap even by their standards to release a current product shamelessly release it with no pretty much no changes whatsoever apart from the box and charge for nearly the same price i think it's a time to think if you really want to save 10 pounds or if you want to give that money to a company which is invested in researching and developing a product if Behringer does get away with this and it becomes a money maker for them then I think down the line you're going to see a lot of smaller sim companies maybe not bothering or struggling if essentially Behringer can clone their gear and not worry about the lawsuits. Behringer have been sued many times before in the past and it seems that this doesn't really bother them if Arturi is going to come after them and I think that's a bit worrying. And that gets me on to the next point. Fair enough that Behringer are known for making clones but the most frustrating thing about Behringer is that they've got factories the size of cities in China. They've got talented people working for them. They're very good at marketing and distribution. If they put their efforts and money into developing an original synthesizer, they could create something which could easily compete with the top brands out there. But instead, they just seem to shamelessly clone and copy and chase sort of the cheap sales and cheap money. And I think that's frustrating because I really think they could create something good. Ultimately... The more success they have with this, they're going to keep doing it. They're a business. We're currently in a great age for synthesizers with so much different gear coming out at different price points. And I mean, it's a bit shameful how they just advertise everything as their new product. I mean, it's obviously a clone. Anyway, that was a quick mini rant. Got nothing else to do. Feel free to disagree and complain below. I mean, the ironic thing is that Behringer have released the swing just to cash in on the key steps popularity. And I've done this rant video just to cash in on the outrage about the Swings release. So, who's the hypocrite? The cloney hypocrite. I doubt anyone will watch till the end anyway. <laughs>